This government meeting is brought to you by Eastworks and our local cable subscribers. All right, here we go. Uh, 704, July 11th, 2022. Uh, I'm going to call the Finance Committee meeting to order. Um, Public comments? Anybody wanna? <laughs> we'll go back to that if someone comes in. Um, we wanna welcome Becky to our board here. Um, thank you for joining us. <laughs> Hopefully oh, you'll stay. Thank you. <laughs> um, and I'm not quite sure if we want to reorganize at all. Um, I don't mind saying chair, it's, you know, but. You know, we need a vice chair and a clerk, so. But I guess we should wait for Barbara to come because she's vice chair at the moment. And we need to do uh, liaison. Yeah, yeah. for the CPA. Yep. Um, I had them written down. The CPA, the um, Housing Authority wants someone on their board, PPPB. Well, I don't mind saying on the PPPB, but I can't. So with the Community Preservation Committee, um, you know, we would need someone to go to their meetings and look over their, you know, um, finances when they vote on things. And that person is a voting member of that group. Um, so I don't know if that's something that interests you. Um, the Housing Authority is another one. I don't know. I think it's just a, I don't think it's a voting position, but I think it's just an advisory um, but I don't know much about the Housing Authority mm -hmm. and all that, so. Do you go to any of their meetings? No, I don't know. Joy, Joy is, is the one that. But I think they're looking to do the Housing Trust. The housing trust. They okay. They law through to create that, so that, yeah. That's probably why they're asking for somebody to pay finance. It, mm -hmm. it, it is. Yeah, they, they would like finance buy-in to this and the information for the meetings to come back with finance committees. All right, so we have. PPP. If we had a seven member board like we were supposed to, <laughs> then um, we wouldn't put so much pressure on all of us. CPC, PPPB, housing. What was the other one I said? I don't remember now. I think uh, that's CP, it. CP, CP, yeah. CPC, mm -hmm. housing. Con there's no housing. conservation. It's not uh, yeah. housing. PPPB. Yep. I think that's it. Okay. I think. So just three? Yeah. Um, that need people to, I don't say be a, a member of that board and like PPBB and Community Preservation, they're voting members, they're voting. so they need that person sometimes to be. Um, hey, Barbara. Hello. My friend. <laughs> Sorry, I'm late. That's okay. Um, you know, they need those people to vote for a quorum sometimes, so. Um, you know, I can send you the information for any of those if you want, or um, I might be interested in the housing. Okay. Just it sounds like they're being active. Yeah. 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 So. And I'll try to go to some CPC meetings. This is Becky Barbara. I think. We She's met at the meeting. Oh, at the, the, annual, at the annual, annual town meeting. meeting. Remember she came over? Yes. Yeah. Kind of at the end when everything was right. all going away. <laughs> um, so we were just talking about the three um, positions, the Community Preservation, Housing Trust, and the PPPB where they need voting members. So um, John has agreed to stay on as the PPPB representative for finance. Um, Becky's going to look into the housing piece and then I don't know if you're interested in doing community preservation, or we can kind of split it and see how it goes. Let's try to split. Okay. Because I don't know how many, you know, how many meetings, you know, if I'm available or not. So okay. um, the next thing is, do we want to reorganize? Um, 
Nothing wrong with you staying chair. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh. Yeah. Stop. Where are we on this? Of course I want yeah. your chair. <laughs> uh, okay. And then so we have vice chair and then uh, clerk that takes the minutes, which we haven't been very diligent about. <laughs> Any of us. So. Any of us. I start I and then I stop and then I go back. I'm like, what was that again? I have to watch and I can't. I'm not so. good at taking minutes. I really I should be. You have to, what you need to do is just watch the, go back and watch the video, you know, and go from there. Mm. Try to take notes, but it's hard to when you're trying to be engaged in the conversation, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, um, I will be more than happy to stay chair. Anyone want vice chair? Who was that clerk? You. I'll, I'll take vice chair, that's an easy one. <laughs> We're not being recorded, are we? We yes, are. We oh my are. God. <laughs> I'll be nice then. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll do. I'll do the vice chair. If you need. And I don't know if you guys want a dual duty clerk or can just all put our heads together and come up with minutes. You know, like you can, Everyone can put down what they think happened, and we can <laughs> kind of compile it together, maybe. Yeah, we should be better about minutes. Yeah. Okay. Um. So that's good, and then. We have uh, next on the agenda is an update from the select board liaison. Or do we want to go out of order and vote on this PRFs? And that way, John has more time. Or do you have to go? Okay. So let's hear from our select board liaison. I'm assuming you're still our liaison. Yeah. So I got I took it for another year. Okay. And then. Um, Actually, all the liaisons pretty much stay the same, with okay. the exception of uh, the Greens community. Chris and I are going to split that one. Um, well, we have the budget, so we're done for the next session. <laughs> but no, we're wrapping up the year. I can the um, the cost efficiency committee. Um, one of the things that is coming up for this year is going to be the um, using the DLS. Um, program that they have with the spreadsheet where you can you put all the historical data and project five years out. Mm -hmm. I think Westfield's already doing it. And then um, we're going to roll that out to the capital committee as well. Mm -hmm. And then try and get that done this year. If in time for the budget, that's great. But if not, it'll be a tool that we have going forward. And then I, th I think it's pretty quiet. It's just end of year transfers, which you guys have on your agendas. Mm -hmm. All those. So. Um. I guess since we're kind of on the top, I'm going to jump out of the order, and um, you know we're going to do year and transfers. But what about um, uh, closing of the FY21 books and audit for FY21 and closing of 22 books? So the do you want to <clears throat> so I always get my years messed up. The one that was being worked on that was 21, right? That was closed by. That was 20. 20. All right, small. So Wait a minute. The 20s had its audits. So you're going to say closed by... Kinter. 21 was being closed by Kinter. Yes, 21. Yeah, so 20, 21, all the stuff's supposed to be into the audits by July 25th? Yes, they're uh, they're in here for their field work, field work the week of July 25th. And Melanson's doing that? Yes, they are. Yep. And we signed on for Melanson. I assume we signed. We got the money for it for Melanson for the 22, right? No, it's just the 20. We haven't done any of on that yet. All right. So 21 field. Their, their internal reports have to be done by the 25th. Field work starts on the 25th. So they'll be here for two weeks potentially. Usually one week. One week. And then that's the that's the internal priority right now. It's July 25th on July 26th. Everyone's priority changes to closing 22 and getting all those things done while Melanson's working on that. And we should be, from the select board's point of view, it looks like we're in a pretty good spot, at least from what we're seeing for reports, which are the same ones you guys are seeing. I think the only hiccup is revenue. Mm -hmm. We're still sitting at March 30th. So we did say at the last select board meeting um, some sort of communication to go from the select board via Ed to those two department heads that by the second week of August, we wanted the year end cash reports done for the treasurer's office up to the town accountant and have him verify all his stuff and get the stuff done. And if they can't meet that deadline, they just need to communicate it and explain why. But to try and force the issue to get back on the September 30th deadlines when everything's supposed to be done then. It's probably not gonna happen this year, but 
we're trying to move things along. Um, okay. And then 22 audit, you haven't, I mean, obviously you're not going to be in that process, but uh, have you thought about it? wouldn't be till spring, probably, yeah. anyway. Yeah, yeah. I think they're normal time frame. They used to come in January. I was going to say January, February, yeah. It was beginning yeah. of January in the last couple of years. I think a lot of it's, it's if this 21 goes smoothly and quickly, that might be a good sign to get them back in and get everything going. But obviously, we're not, at this point, we're not engaging Kiffinger, whatever their name is, to come in and help with 22. Mm -hmm. We're going to do all that internally. Okay. Um, all right. Um, I, I won't. I think what I'll do is um, I had some questions, but I didn't get a chance to like mark them all up. So what I'll do is I'll just send Bradley an email with questions I had on these reports. Other revenue and expenses? Yeah. Um, just because I was curious, obviously I don't have any details. So, um, and some of those will be balanced out by the transfers, but um, right, yeah, because only transfers one, two, and three have been approved by both bodies. And four, five, six, and seven are still waiting for finance, so those haven't been yeah put into there. Just for, for an example, why they and I didn't look at pass but why you would take 4650 bucks from regional lockup and move it to police equipment maintenance when now you have a 4600 dollars deficit no so, yeah, so we wrote a check we sent the payment in the sheriff cashed it got money from the state the sheriff refunded the money to us it came back and so we have the money and Bradley needs to figure out where the this comes up every cycle. Well, that's what I'm saying. That's so why you need to be able to fix that because you yes. look at it and you think, okay, right. why do you transfer right. the money if yeah. you? He's got to find the original place. The place, place that was. I mean, you should be able to do that by a vendor search. You pull up the thing and you know how, where where you charged it to. Where you charge the original money to? Right. Well, no. It's, the question is, where is the? Revenue from the re the check they sent to us when we deposited the check. Right. When the refund came back, yeah. the Treasury re receded it. What account did it? Or did it get receded yet? It should have because we received it back in July of last. So every treasurer has that miscellaneous account they throw. In. Right, but right, but usually you they communicate that with the accountant so then they can go and move it when they're reconciling so it doesn't it was a different account at that point in time anyway so i get there's just things i look at i'm like that doesn't make sense but anyway okay so we have um prfs to do first before we do the transfers so these are personal requisition forms that um, is for the audience, so they sometimes don't have any idea. Is when a position becomes vacant, um, the appointing authority or the hiring authority will um, uh, come up with a, a, a job description that already exists, and you know what the pay is, and the account, and everything where it comes from, and get signed off by the um, PPPP board, the finance committee, and the select board. And we have three that are here. One is for the assistant town accountant position. Um, I don't know if you guys have those copies there. Mm -hmm. For 17 to $20 per hour for 20 hours per week. It's gonna come out of the general fund. Um, and so they wanna be able to, once we sign this, you guys will be able to post it? Yes. Okay. Um, and, the money's in the budget for this year, but that should be uh, the amount that's in the budget, correct? It's not anymore. I have that here. All right, so per the budget, 29.39.75. Okay. Um, I don't know if you guys have any questions. Discussion on signing this posting for an assistant town account.
so the pay scale is 17 to 20, and then they hire them based on whatever the annual expense is. At the or rate is. Yeah, they can't really pay. You can't really pay any more than that. So I don't know what the hourly rate comes out to be. I believe it was going to be twenty dollars and five cents for fiscal year twenty three at twenty hours a week. Bless you. Bless you. And is this going from a non-benefited position back to a benefited, or was it has it? Was, it, it it's, was benefited. it's been continuously it's benefited. Yeah. I thought it was going to change after Joyce left, but I'm going to do this backwards. So they can pay up to the twenty thousand nine thirty nine seventy five. So if someone comes in and has not as much experience or you know the certain qualifications they might pay 17 or 18 bucks but this is going to be 20 52.2 who's the accountant right now there's no assistant no who's the Red. Red. yeah so it's like 20 dollars and six cents per hour which is what's in the budget so they can only pay up to 20 dollars and six cents mm -hmm. okay. but it's not or not opposed to paying less i guess Sure. So, but yeah, we can only pay up to what was appropriate in the budget. So, so I move that we approve it. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. So you guys can have this one back. So the next one we have is Conservation Commission, which is a new position, but I don't believe this is in the general funds. No, that would come from ARPA funds. Um, and it's still, this is still the same as what was Is this someone else's job description? Or did they actually, they wrote this one? It just hasn't been scored yet. Is that right? Correct, the committee met and then just before the election and voted to let the chair score. So you did, so it was scored. Score, yeah. oh. So PPPB hasn't seen this yet? We, we have, we, which what? The Conservation Commission. Yeah, we, the job description came before us and, and so I think the, the first time it came before the PQB, it was, it came with various nearby towns. As examples. Right, but they didn't, they hadn't written their own job description. So we said, you have to have, right. you have to give us a job description. So. And they did that, and that was the, what was town meeting in May? So that was. It was the meet. It was the last PPP B board meeting before the election, because then, the, then, um, in theory, the board was potentially going to go down to one member. And at that meeting, the three members voted to let the chair score it and just report back. And then the funding source is the ARPA. It's like 198, 19, 19, I think. 19.5, yeah. So yeah, that's not two years. Down here. Correct. And so what happens after two years? Either it disappears or the thought process is we have two years to figure out how to absorb that into the budget for year three. That's the plan target. So the urban months all have all of the funds already been received? Or have we only received one year? Uh we've got of two out of the four that on Yeah, we so. thought we were going to get some before June 30th but in South Hadley, but we didn't. We didn't get any new ones either. No, they were pretty tricky when they actually gave us the first payments and the wording was that we'd get the second payments no less than 12 months from the first payments. Both our own and the county's. 
even though there's no counties anymore, no county government. Yeah. But so the first year is being taken from the ARPA funds that we've already received. First and second, well. First and, and second. second yeah. Yeah. So right. So for your point of reference, of the one point eight million and change that we're getting, the select board has voted to encumber or authorize almost like one point one million of that so far. And of that 1.1 that we encumbered or approved, mm -hmm. the, these two years of 1905 are in that number. Okay. So have they encumbered or approved more than we've actually received to date? Yes, but not in, it's over the, the two, the three year period, because some of it was last year's budget. So what we last year and this year together hasn't exceeded the 700 something that we've gotten. So according to this revenue report in 22, we've gotten $599,322.20. And have you charged anything against that? We oh, I think, premium pay would I would think the only thing is the premium pay. Yeah, so according to this expense report. Maybe two sixty one, two seventy one. It says forty five thousand eight thirty six. She had three hundred twenty two thousand bucks that was carried over from twenty one into twenty two. Yeah, for the total of eight hundred and whatever. Eight hundred and some odd thousand bucks, yeah. Um, okay. Again, uh, so we've committed two years, two years to this mm -hmm. position. And then uh, I guess you get stuck if something happens. I mean, you, correct. And the key would be is the posting needs to clarify this is a grant funded position. Mm -hmm. So that the person taking it knows that. Yep. All right, so. I have to mark a grant on here because this is general fund. This is Maybe we should put that on there somewhere, like make a note that posting must reflect that it's a grant funded position because mm -hmm. it doesn't. Well, it does have it circled here. Oh, but that's general funds. We wanted to come out of a grant, not so. And, and I think at the time it came through us, that's before we had the, the dual meeting where mm -hmm. we discussed all this and made that switch for the recommendation switch. I think we. I think the town needs somebody. I mean, Marla can't keep doing this by herself. Um, no, it'd be nice to have somebody with a little expertise to do their written notifications and their written rulings. I guess I just again, it's two years down the road, and and you know you want to be like, oh okay, well we're done, we can't find the money, and then you're stuck in three or four years down the road. You're like, oh we need someone back, and you kind of do have this circle, this vicious circle of, you know, I think this, I think the again, it's two years down the road. The select board needs to make it a point to put this in the budget. Mm -hmm. um, I think you have to do that. Right, and either find the revenues to put it in there, or figure out where the cuts going to come from. Exactly. Dollars. Exactly. Yeah. Which, of course, we will value finances input through that process. So I move that we approve this with the the notation that it's that the posting reflects that it's grant funded position, and that is coming from ARPA, mm -hmm. and that is the nineteen five. So there is a range. Yeah, and that it doesn't exceed the 19.5, which has been approved. Oh, yes. Because this goes up to 20, 20 yeah. 384. All right. I wrote notes on here, so when I sign it, you guys can add that back. So. Great. Thank you. You're welcome. Anyone second? Yeah. Second? Okay. Mm -hmm. All those in favor? Aye. 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 
like I would know what date it was. I sign my name so many times a day and date stuff that <laughs> I forget what day it is. Okay, I'll take this one that I should. And I always have a blue pen so people know it's an original. Um, okay, last one we have is for a volunteer coordinator. Uh, it seems as though Flo retired, I'm assuming. Yes, she did. Um, June 30th was her last day. Ah. So this is six to ten hours a week, and this is going to come from the um, state formula grant. I'm assuming that's that. It says. Sounds right. I don't remember off the top of my head. I believe it, yeah. I believe it's state formula grant. Yes, state formula grant. Okay. And my understanding is the state formula grant now, you don't necessarily have to put a budget in. You should compile a budget, but you don't have to submit it for approval, so they are allowed to use funds for volunteer coordinators yeah, and the like. So. Correct. And then it's, they've changed it so it actually, if you don't spend it all in one year, you can carry it over because you have to zero it out. Yep. Yep. Okay, um, so this is six to ten hours a week. Is it going to be every day, a couple hours a day? Is it going to be the same as it was now? Does it say on here? Um, I believe it was a couple of days. Days a week? Yeah, you know, because working 10 hours a day really isn't, or six hours a day is not really going to help you. No. <laughs> you know? No, I think, I think she used to come in in the mornings a couple hours, hours uh, or afternoon I, or whichever. Yeah. But I think it was a couple hours a day. I mean, they must just, some maybe some weeks it's more because te there's not enough in the budget for 10 hours a week. At 14.25. No, that's, they, I don't know why, yeah, I don't know. Um, I mean, there's money in their budget because they get, I think it's still 12 bucks because they haven't used the new census yet. It's 12 bucks a senior, like 13 or 14,000 bucks. I don't know what else they're going to use it for. Has this since been approved by accounting or initial by accounting? Because this one hasn't been. Mm -mm. I believe it has. So. That one, that one that's like, but it's like four. Nope. Yeah. It's, it's, has it been signed by the PPPB? No. Nope. Okay, we're, we're waiting for that one to come back from the PPPB. So no. that's why it's. Who took that one? I thought so. Yeah. So maybe I have the original in my bag. Could be. <laughs> I know we signed off on it. So did you sign off on the fit five thousand nine twenty eight, or are we we are going to just assume it's six to ten hours per week? Well, and they have to manage it. And they have right. to manage right. it. Correct. Yeah. Okay. So if you did, all right. So I'm gonna write this on here. Ten. Yeah, because the only thing we didn't do is, is I have the scoring on, on the countdown to do, and then we do, we held any action on the two requests of the fire department until we could talk with the department head. But those are the only things we left in the jacket. I don't. Th I wasn't even at the last meeting. I don't think. You were on the phone. Oh, that's right. You were, might have been preoccupied. I was, yeah, babysitting. Uh oh. She phoned in. We we had a fourth member of the board that night. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> only a fourth, not a fifth and sixth. Well, yeah, but they were in the background. Yeah. They, they were farther away. <laughs> They were very vocal. <laughs> so if you did, if it was at ten hours a week, it, the money would be seven thousand four thirty-eight fifty, um, and it's fifty-nine twenty-eight. Isn't even. It's like eight, seven and a half hours, something like that. But I'm sure it just yeah varies. And it's going to vary, so. But I just want to make sure that they all of a sudden are like, oh, we don't have any money left. How are we going to pay for her or him or whoever for the last? I guess they would have to just manage their hours, and if they're doing 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, they don't have any money left, then they'll have to. Well, I also down wonder if six. it's the way Joan does it, if she's really written that, written that down as bi weekly hours. So it would only be five hours a week. Because um, on our PA, she does everything with the bi weekly numbers. Wow, mm -hmm. oh, okay. 
I'm sure she'll pay attention to it. I mean, uh, yeah, I mean, she's kind of doing it now, so. So, motion to approve. Second. Anybody? All in favor. All in favor. <laughs> <laughs> so you second, Barbara? Yeah, I did. Okay. <laughs> What does the, um, you guys probably know, but the expense account line, what does that? Uh, That's the account number that the money comes from when they get, when they, when they get. Account number, okay. Yeah. And there's a name to it, but that's the account number. So when they get paid, it is charged to that account. So you can find that account number on the expense reports that we get from Bradley. Okay. So like that one, I printed this out so I so it'll be up here, it'll say 2451007. So the, the they'll so that account is gonna have more than just this charge to it because there's other um, programs and stuff that they can use that money for. So it's not just a salary line item. But <clears throat> All right, so that's those. You guys can have those back. Um, so, end of year transfers. Is that why you're here, Darcy? Okay. <laughs> just didn't want just you. In case. I just didn't want you to be sitting there. Yeah. First, no, if no, it was something. It should be pretty straightforward. So, but. Um, so at the end of the fiscal year, I'm just going to explain so people can understand. Between May and July 15th. In a town, the select board and the finance committee has authority to approve transfers between accounts. Um, otherwise, you'd have to go to town meeting to have to be able to transfer any money from any line items. So um, it has been past practice that the finance committee will vote on the transfers for deficits or pending um, invoices that are going to be coming in to be paid for this fiscal year. And then the select board will also vote on those. Um, and so these are the ones that are going to hit the books for this year, whether there's already negatives in the deficits in the books or there, again, like I said, there's things that we have bills waiting to be paid, but we can't pay them and they belong to June 30th because um, we're waiting for these transfers. So we'll just go through these. We've already done the first couple before, I think the town meeting we did them. We have four, we have number five, we have six, and then we have a number seven. Um, so we'll just go through these kind of line by line and there should be an explanation down below of, um, you know, why the money is in a deficit or why they may need the money and we may need some other explanation, so. Number four, we have um, a deficit in photocopier lease and supplies, which we're gonna, they're gonna take that from the telephone account. It looks like it's, um, you know, increase in paper costs, um, which doesn't surprise me. Um, yeah, almost doubled from the beginning of the year. And if you're buying recycled, it's even astronomical. That's, that's what we're buying. Yep. Yeah, it went from like 26 to 54 or something. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, the next one is going to be for the highway superintendent salary. Um, when did that new contract go into effect? Actually, it went into effect July 1st, 2021. Oh, so, so you're paying him retro. This is, yeah, that's what that 10,000 is. And it's an even 10,000? And so, I guess I'm just thinking we're not, well, I don't know how you're going to pay him. We're going to either accrue it and pay him in July, but I don't know that you can go back and do June 30th payroll right now. No, you'd have to accrue it. And you'd pay have to accrue July. it and pay it in July. Mm -hmm. Okay, that was my only one. I looked at. I'm like, ah. Oh, Unless it's already been paid. No, because it's mean, not. It it's in the depth. It's so not. It's so it went back to July 2021. You said. Yes, July 1st, 2021. And so the contract is for three years, one year, two years? Three years, three years. Right, I just want to make notes on my copy. So and June 30th, 2024. Okay. And just in case for people who are listening, the amount of the photocopy transfer was $132.85. Twenty twenty. 
shape too. Okay. Um, and going forward, that's already built into FY23? Yes. Mm -hmm. Unemployment compensation, the deficit is $2,281.44, um, and that's going to come from the group health insurance. Um, and then street lighting is a deficit of $1,971.44, which is also going to come from the group health insurance. And uh, police overtime wages is $7,000 in the deficit, and that's coming from police wages. Um, and we have an increase in street lighting costs, which everyone's seen that around. And then due to staffing shortages, I'm assuming that um, the chief had to use his overtime wages because he didn't have staff to put on regular police officers. So he had those wages in his regular wages to put into his overtime. So. Um, and unemployment, do we know, is that the end of the unemployment? Are there any more on here? No. No? Okay. Are we still no, pursuing the getting that the back, or? Yes, and supposedly they won't write us a check, but we are supposedly have a credit to go against fiscal year 23. But there's some years when there's hardly any. Right, use at all. I mean, there, Was it all fraudulent, or was it because? I would have to go back and take a look. Yeah. Because usually it's only if the school were to lay someone off or something right. that anyone has a claim anyway. So they are anticipating getting a credit in 23? That's what Jen told me. Well, it's a credit. It's a credit that keeps going on and on until you charge through, against through, it. Through, yeah, yeah, until you use it up. Do I use it up in 23 or yeah. it could be part of it in 24? Okay. So I haven't seen uh, the budget report. But so this may be a silly question, but I'm assuming that anything under the source of funds for any of these, there's that that money exists. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, it has to. At least on paper. <laughs> at least on paper, it does. I checked some of them today when I was at lunch, but um, I didn't look at them all. Okay, so are we going to approve each? Each one, yeah. Okay. I would do each so one. So I move that we approve the budget transfers number four for fiscal 22 for a total of $21,385.73. Second. All in favor? Aye. Mm -hmm. Aye. And you aren't going to have any more because we can't meet before the 15th, so. No. That's good. Bradley and I were going a little crazy this morning trying to wait for the last few of them to roll in to see if what we might have to add to the last list we already had. For number seven. Uh, next is budget transfers number five. Um, we have a deficit in health director wages of $2,019.97, which part of it will come from health agent wages, uh, $1,660, and part will come from health expenses, $359.97. Assuming that she had extra, obviously extra hours and stuff, because there's still COVID stuff floating around. Um, so let me see how much more. So, do we owe her more money? No. For last fiscal year. For 22? No, that's the number between January and the end of the year where the the board. Board of Health authorized additional hours without funding. It was either find the money within the budget or take the last 
when you go out without pay. And they found money within the budget. And this is the cumulative of what they need. For hours, so it's going to be another retro piece where you have to accrue the money and then pay them. And, and well, I'm guessing that she already paid. got paid, paid. Oh, knowing that they were going to transfer this money from within their department. So where does that show up in the expense report? Do you have the latest expense report? Uh, or line item should be over. Yeah, because he just sent us he the report. He just sent it. Yeah. Should be as of July 7th. Uh huh? Because I printed this one from the one that he said, but let me see, maybe I printed the wrong one. So that wouldn't be very good. to the internet, I guess, right? I remember seeing it in the deficit, but I could go on. Um, maybe you didn't send it. I don't know if I'm seeing it now. Here, I'm going to do this. Uh, let me see. The last one he sent us was June 30th. Okay, then it wouldn't be in there. Because that would have been paid on July 7th, I believe it was. Well, that doesn't help me then, does it? Yeah. So they would have paid it at the end of the... And the well, but it actually would have been booked like for July 7th, even though... It was for June 30. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, so in my email, the email was sent on June 30th. So. Yeah. And that's the last one I had. So I'm like, oh, that must be. But my bad for not asking for a new one. Well, we're going to send you a new one? I think I've got one. Um, that would be I think wonderful. Well. I didn't even ask him for a new one because he always sends it. So I'm like, oh, okay. Um, And that's why I was like, I couldn't find some of these. I'm like, this doesn't make any sense. <laughs> um, Should yeah. we come back to that one? or? Yeah, well, the road machinery and maintenance, the road machinery expense doesn't make any sense either. Because there's already twelve thousand dollars in there, and there's a deficit of thirty-seven hundred bucks. So, are they putting another twelve thousand, which would be way more than this thirty-seven hundred bucks? Mm -hmm. So, I don't know if the new report has more money on it or not. Probably. This was June 21st that the select board signed this, so um, they've already had. Yeah, so was the 12,000, was that, did we approve that already? It's in this report. Mm -hmm. Well, you guys haven't met since June 21st, right? Uh huh. You haven't met since June 21st? No, we have not. Yeah. But I'm guessing if this was on 630 and this was 621, would, it, would the expenses have already hit the report before 630? Because it was ran on 630. Even though at the date on the top says 630, they could have, I don't know when the last warrant they posted right. <clears throat> for 630 was if they did it like July 7th or something. Yeah. Or maybe they just have bills. Well, it, Ed, Ed can correct me if I'm wrong, but I almost think this one was we needed to move the money so he could request the repairs. Whether he, the work needed to be done to the truck, right? Replace the truck bed pickup, supplies and repairs. So once this transfer, once we sign up on the transfer, then he was going to send the truck out to be worked on. So it would be encumbered. Um. 
Uh, yeah, as long as the work has already started. Because really, if you haven't got a contract or you haven't started any of the work, you can't transfer the money right. and then carry it forward and cover it to the next year. It's not really going to work that way. So if he doesn't have something that says, hey, you know, I'm going to get this truck work done. Here's what it's going to cost me. Mm -hmm. You can't really just transfer the money and then send the truck out. <laughs> I mean, I guess you can, but... Well, it says it needed brakes and the pickup and... Yeah. He must have gotten a quote of some sort. Yeah. Because it's 12000 bucks. All right. Um, well, this next one is pretty big. This one I'm just looking at it says dispatch needs six thousand bucks for wages. But here there's sixteen thousand four hundred and ninety-four bucks in there. Plus, if they've already submitted the money for the reimbursement for the E911 grant, they can move that expenditure from here to the grant and they might not need that money. schools in a big deficit. I don't know if he's printing it out or if he's emailing it. I thought he was going to email. That's why I was like trying to refresh this. quarters. Page two. I just had the open because I had road machinery maintenance and I was looking at the school pieces and I'm sitting here. Is he making, he must be making copies. So he should just email it to me. Oh, then you guys wouldn't be able to see either, so. Hundred and twenty thousand dollars in the elementary school? Yeah. In deficit? Yep. And there's no budget for school choice and charter school tuition and there's no budget for um, the assessments from the state either. In the in this report. So those have to get entered. Yeah, and why would we be short the Hampshire Regional? Is it the regional or Norris that's short? Well, the Norris is short in a deficit of almost $120,000. Okay. Which is concerning. Then the second piece would be the assessments from the cherry sheet. The budgeted pieces are not in this report. Those never were entered as budget parts. Then Hampshire Regional Operating, which we pay the assessment quarterly, 
is we if there's a sixty nine hundred dollar plus balance balance in that it. we didn't pay that we didn't pay out but which if seems we have, if we're given an amount and we have to pay quarterly why is our balance gotcha. Because they're not reducing their assessment because it was voted at all five town meetings. The only way they, well, they could have given us money back, but it wouldn't, they wouldn't short the bill. They would have to send us a check if their free cash, their, S, their E and D, their excess and demand is over a certain percentage, they have to give those back to the communities, which only happened one time. But that wouldn't come out on this page, so. Did he send it? All right, so he just sent it. So this is going to be a little better. He All hadn't right. sent one out, so I ran one and sent it to you. Did you only send it to Vicki? Yes. All right. Can you forward it to me? Yes. <laughs> and hopefully it gets to her. Cause I, yeah, I got I've it. still been having some of those email issues. And you guys don't have your computers or anything, so. All right. Does this make more sense here? All right, so if I Oh, so in here, the highway superintendent salary is $9,400.96 in the deficit. So they must have already paid him, and they're moving that $10,000 to cover the deficit that's already here. Okay. And uh, in that one, the uh, health director's salary. The health director's is 18 1886.14. So, but July 1st was a Friday. Friday. So they, all the fiscal 22 payroll should have already hit, right? Should be reflected in this report. Correct. So, are we just rounding because it's easier? Like, why are we not moving $9,401 instead of... Well, that one I'm going to have to look at because the contract was $10,000 more than what his current salary was. So, I'm going to have to take a look and at what they And if the Board of Health one is... Well, the Board of Health one was done way before the end of the year. It was an estimate, so... So the highway superintendent salary budget and was seventy seven thousand eight fifty three thirteen. Yeah. And what he got paid was eighty seven two fifty four oh nine. So it's not exactly ten thousand dollars more. Yeah, I'm gonna have to take a look at that one because my memory was the contract was exactly ten thousand dollars more right. for fiscal year 22. Hmm. So I don't know if they messed up the actual retro pay or not. Okay, so we'll leave that one. Um, so back to the health director, I'm gonna change this because I'm assuming that she got paid everything that she was supposed to get paid. Or do we still owe her more money? But does it? Does it really matter? Because now I'm gonna have to take that and make it a special meeting back to the select board because that one's already been approved by them. Yeah, I mean, if it's... Oh, if yeah, it's this a, one is signed. Yeah. All right. It's, I mean, if the money's in the other accounts, then there's no reason to change it, really. If she's already been paid, whatever she's going to be paid, it's not. Yeah. That's why I didn't realize this one was already signed. I thought that was... So... Does that updated report clarify the uh, road machinery expenses? No. That you just got? No. no. 
No. Do you remember anything on the 12th? Go ahead. Uh, no, because actually the final, without encumbering the final vendor warrant for expenses is actually will be paid on 714. 714? Yeah, right. Yeah, 714. So that hasn't been. I guess those checks have not been cut, they've not been posted as of yet. And they'll be posted as of June 30. But they'll be, yes, correct. Okay. Yeah. So there's already a deficit in here of $3,794. So you anticipate another $9,000 worth of expenses and bills that he had, that they have? In fact, I think the vendor warrant that came in today was $9,000 some hundred dollars on that. So then 12,000 is in the height. Um, well, three, let's see. Yeah, because you take 37.94 from 12,000, you got less than 9,000. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but you got $8,200. But I guess that's for you guys to figure yeah. out. I mean, this right. is how much you like asked I, I don't know how much yeah. hasn't come through and will end up be, being needing to be encumbered either. Okay. All right. So I guess I move that we approve number five in the amount of fourteen thousand nineteen dollars and ninety-seven cents. I want a second. I'll second. All in favor? I just got a question. Yeah. Certainly. So we're just doing that because it's already been approved by the select board, even though we know it's not quite enough money. Well, we don't know exactly what the other bill that's being submitted is. But we know it's more than 9000 right? Yes. So. So, so the, the, correct me if I'm wrong, so the point of, of all these exercises with the transfers at the end of the year, to try to zero out all the accounts. Wherever there is a deficit still remaining, whether it's a dollar or ten thousand dollars, it gets redacted or subtracted off of our free cash certification, and then we have to make it up, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Is that automatic? Or mm -hmm. is that? So it automatically, automatically comes off your free cash. cash, and then you have to take money from free cash so you get ding twice, right. basically. So we want to minimize it as much as possible, at least avoid it wherever possible. Well, it's illegal to overspend your budget. I, if you watched the last meeting, I was very <laughs> I'm just telling you. <laughs> Is there more than 12000 in the general highway expenses? Um, yes. So. But it's too late to change that because of select board. You can, we, but we can, can we add it to this, these other transfer, this other transfer here? Six, because that, that hasn't been signed yet. Oh, that one has been signed. Six has been signed. Seven, seven is the only one that has not been in front of the select board yet. Um, Would you be able to identify a funding source? Well, we could t take more out of, well, we don't know for sure. Well, General Highway Expenses has got $48,000 in it, but I don't know if you've got $48,000 worth of bills right. or not. Right. right. I'm hoping not and that you waited that long to spend it all. doesn't sound like Rambo to leave 50000 at the end of the well, year. Well, that's why I was kind of, I mean, you couldn't take it. I'm assuming his uh, general highway wages are, there's 14000 bucks there. I'm thinking he's done with paying people. The retro's already gone through? Yes. Yep. So you could take it from there. Um, same thing with admin, uh, assistant admin highway. There's 3600 bucks in there. So. What are you looking for for an additional transfer? Well, if, if you have nine thousand dollars and some change for road machinery and maintenance, and you're already in a deficit of thirty-seven hundred bucks, then twelve thousand is twelve thousand isn't enough. You said that there's nine thousand. It was about nine thousand. So that's my memory. Maybe it could be a different account. So Bradley went through all of this today of what came in and gave me anything additional that should need to be taken care of. Okay. All right. So what do you guys want to do? Let's see that package. Yep. 
just as a side note, when you get to the transfer number six, you're going to see a lot of uh, deficit spending. And th that uh, sparked the conversation at the last select board meeting. And there is going, they're going to, direction was given from the select board back that uh, to work with the town accountant to identify and put in place a procedure that stops it in the town. Just don't pay the bill. If there's nothing, if there's no money in it, you don't pay the bill. If there's not enough, you just right. don't pay it. And then it's got to yeah. go back to the department head. Yeah. To for credit. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah, that's in deficit, what, 3,700? Yes. Okay. And, and transfer number five was 12,000. So. I mean, that'll cover the. I mean, I guess I can only there's go by. They're taking the 3,700 in the near memory of today's warrant. Well, I have change. another way of checking my memory. Silly me, I thought this was going to be quick. I asked you. To. Yeah. Oh, John, we'll be in another 15 minutes. <laughs> Well, that was before I even got the things emailed to me. That was today. Or yesterday. Today, right? Today. Yeah. I'll make sure they have my email now so I can look at it in advance too. So. No, it's fine. It's, again, if you don't have some of the right, and I didn't ask Bradley for a new report, I wasn't even thinking because I was worried about getting the transfers. Um, these were done on June 21st, so I mean, I, I can't, can only go by what's in front of me. I can't go by, oh, well, we think we're going to have more money that we're going to pay on June 14th and blah, 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 blah. And, I don't know. So, so like, like on the next one? Transposition, 79, 24, 58. Okay. That, that's better. All right. Well, okay. I just wouldn't want to transfer yeah. it knowing that yeah. it's going to be short anyway. I got gotcha. you. Yeah. So. Makes sense. Sorry, you snapped at me. <laughs> Sorry, you snapped at me. Sure, I can't. Um, okay. So, we are back to back we have to a second. <laughs> All in favor? Aye. Aye. So we have number six, transfer. This is a big one. So we have fire department wages is in a deficit of 13,281.56. Um, I'm assuming that's um, due to how he splits up all of his wages and between EMT and fire. So he's going to take 6000 out of fire expenses, uh, $7,281.56 from EMT wages, $10,751.15 from EMT wages, which currently, according to this last report, there's EMT wages of twenty five thousand one seventeen forty eight, which twenty five thousand bucks was transferred in from special town meeting. Right? Special town so meeting. we transferred it in, and now we're transferring it out to cover other, other stuff. Expenses. But if it came from ambulance receipts reserve, it's touchy to put it into fire. But, um. Then we have EMT standby, which is a budgeted item. Um, one, two, three, four. There's fifty five thousand eight sixty two fifty. Five thousand eight sixty two. Well, the EMT wages are of ten thousand seven fifty one fifteen are covering the deficit in fire truck maintenance for the same amount. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's a different and line. Then, All right, yeah, that makes sense. Okay. And then we've got EMT wages and EMT standby, which are going to cover the ambulance, ambulance. maintenance deficit of 5,949.82. Yeah, yeah it's, I need a ruler. I can't see straight sometimes. Okay. Minus. All right, 
so that's even. All right. Um, all right, so let me go back. Fire expenses and EMT wages are going to cover fire department wages, like Donald just said. Fire truck maintenance is going to come from EMT wages. Ambulance maintenance is going to come from EMT wages and EMT standby. Mm -hmm. Ambulance billing is short $1,519.83, which is going to come from EMT standby. Um, fire EMS building expenses is in a deficit $1,255.09, which is going to come from EMT standby. And ambulance EMS expenses, $9,055.77. Is going to come from EMT standby, EMT license and certification, and group health insurance. That's nine thousand. Oh. Y'all remember that conversation when I was looking for the article for the transfer for the annual town meeting that started at four, and then he wanted ten, and we had the conversation of let's wait till the end of the year. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so See where we might be able to bring it from. Insurance here. So there's thirty-seven thousand dollars in health insurance, group health insurance. We already moved some. Yeah. Just think that as your reserve account. Yeah. Yeah. This year. Yeah, basically, right? So why is there thirty-seven thousand left in group health? Well, because it's really hard to estimate when you don't know, especially with the school. New teachers come and go every year, you know, and so who's gonna come on and are they gonna be a single or a family? And so you, you just try to estimate, I know they're gonna take the PPO or the HMO or the, so it's it's always a, a guess kind of. Mm -hmm. You know, you always add in a couple high plans just to make sure you have enough because you don't know exactly what you're gonna get. Well, we've been, we've had full-time PD positions open that normally would be on the benefit plan, so they were in the budget, but since there was nobody there. And our rates didn't have an increased that's true. in a couple of years with the health insurance, so that's been... And Randall's been down highway, guys, yeah. Yeah. and yeah. Uh, there was a part-time, well, there's no assessor. Right. right. I mean, so full-time assessor. We have some yeah. benefited yeah. positions yeah. that are that filled. That aren't filled, yeah, yeah well, basically. Yeah. I guess I should have said that. Yeah. All right. Um, so we're okay. I just did this quick because I wanted to see how much was left. And I don't know what we used left, but there was 37000 and off this group right here. I didn't do this page, but there's like 25000 what's left. But I don't know what one and two also had. Well, that already got taken out. Um, let's see. Town hall building expenses. Three thousand one forty-two eighty-nine. Town hall custodial wages. How yeah. many money left in town hall custodial wages? You know why we had town hall custodial wages left? I do. I don't want to violate HIPAA. Three thousand one hundred forty-two eighty-nine. Budget number of hours more worked. Yeah. Custodian worked less hours than was budgeted. Um, and then parts going to come from group health insurance, gas and electric town hall, 2368.85, which also come from group health insurance. Um, library utilities is in a deficit 2662.54, um, group health from group health insurance also. Library maintenance, 593.70 in a deficit is going to come from group health insurance. Highway building expenses, uh, 2,156.71 into deficit is going to come from general highway expenses. Which I wanted to look here because I thought there was, remember I said I thought there was 48,000 bucks in here. And there still is. So there must be something on that warrant because that's, uh, again, if Randall doesn't have the guys, he can't do the work even though he's got the money. Mm -hmm. So. Um, Police overtime wages, uh, $3,500, which will come from police wages. Uh, overtime is, is there more? 
1735. This one is 3500. But this report says overtime wages is in a deficit of $12,170. And this is 35. And this is 17. And I think this other one had seventeen hundred bucks. Um, three, four, five. Did you get the seven thousand? That's a number four. Um, four. There's seven thousand there. Okay. Nine. Okay. And this says 12 one, so all right, that's good. Um, which is gonna come from police wages, 3,500 bucks, dispatch wages. According to this, do you have to pay them retro, maybe, contract? Because this report said $975. And this is it looking does at six thousand dollars. Dispatch, dispatch retro pay. So we haven't paid the retro pay yet for I'm not, I'm for the end of the fiscal year. I'm not sure. I think we have. Okay. Um, the other piece would be with these communication wages is if Ian submitted his reports to get reimbursed by E911, then he would just send you a note to do that transfer and you wouldn't probably have to do this transfer because that transfer it would take the expenditures and put it towards the grant. Um, I'm assuming that he submitted those reports because you have to do them within a 30 day time span. So. Um, but I can always do that after the fact. But um, all right. I mean, either way, it's going to fall into free cash if they don't use it. Because according to this, if we paid it all, it's only nine hundred and seventy-five dollars in the deficit. But um, that will come from police wages, and it's also going to come from education incentive. Okay. Um, then we have building expense, which is police building expenses, $1,800, which will come from just regular police expense. Okay. Fire wage deficit, fire truck maintenance, and go on some just reading these descriptions here. I hope people put enough money in the budget for energy costs because that's going to skyrocket. <laughs> highway building expense, including increased increase for highway trust service. Oh, okay. Um, so, did they? Anyway, never mind. Um, so. Are we, all, are we okay with these transfers? Do we have any questions, concerns, issues? This one's already been approved by the select board, so um, I, I, they don't have time to go back and redo them if some of these are a little bit over, but again, it'll all fall out into free cash in the end anyway, so. Anyone wanna make a motion? I'll make a motion to approve transfer number six in the amount of $64,037.91. Second. Second. All those in favor? Um, okay. Last one. Darcy's been waiting for it. <laughs> <laughs> 
It's the simplest. It's, it's right at the top of the list. It's what started that one off. Yeah, we could have. Okay. So, number seven, we have um, assessor software support. Uh, $16,500. Um, part of that will come from assessor's cyclical inspections and then $10,500 will come from the cyclical inspections and the principal assessor will be $6,000 because we don't have principal assessor so there's money left in that wage line item. So is this a new service? Yeah, so it's near maps. Um, which is a flyover company. So we're trying to recoup because we haven't had a principal assessor. We're so far behind on everything. So a lot of the work can be done directly from the computer versus go out. We can measure things. They do it. They do it two year, twice a year. They do a flyover, so we can see new things. But are we going to need to budget then more money for the cyclical inspections because we're take don't we budget for that so much a year but we have to yeah no because we'll make up for it doing it in-house versus having it out okay yeah because we transferred 14,000 in to the cyclical inspections from the principal assessor I think earlier in the year yeah we for were that. going to try to make up and mm -hmm. we decided to go to this direction instead so they've already done this work so far this for 22? They did not do all the work that they were supposed to do. Did they do any work in 22? The cyclical inspection? No, not the cyclical, but the um, it, the near maps? No, no, we, well, yes. we did, yes. Yes, we did um, towards the end of June. Yeah, Dave Arnold said they already picked up $40,000 in growth out of it. Yes. So do we have a bill? Do we have a contract? Do we have something that... It's a contract. And it was dated at before June 30th? Yes. And they've actually done the work? Yes. I guess my concern was we're going to transfer the money and then carry it forward as encumbers even though we haven't done anything with it, which we yeah. can't really do that. Right. So right. I just want to be sure that it actually started to take place and that um, you know that you're going to have to encumber the rest of that money. Um, Correct. So they will bill us at the end of the year, the beginning of the year, mail twice a year, whenever they're I'm, done. Or I'm expecting the bill now. So does that sixty-five represent two years? Or just it actually, it actually represents, I think, three years. Three years. So we're paying it. Paying in advance for the next couple of years. It's a three-year package. Um, that, hmm. Yeah, it's hopefully can be used. Other departments can use it. It's, it's a pretty nice. I know they tried to get the CARES Act to pick up the near maps, and but I don't know whatever happened with that. Um, did this start 2022, 2021? 22. I'm guessing it's 22. The last couple. The last month or so. The last part of June. In June, yeah. Okay. So will this sixteen five is not gonna all be paid by the end of twenty three, is what you're saying? Yes, it will yeah. all be paid by the fifteenth or there was some confusion with the billing, so we're just waiting. Oh, and so the bill, even though it's gonna be dated July, the bill will say that the services were rendered in June. The service was rendered in June. Okay. Just double checking because yeah. then you can't Okay. But you're right, they're going to have to encumber it because we haven't received the invoice yet, and this was the last warrant. Mm -hmm. um, employment advertising is deficit $14.38. It's going to come from Town Hall custodial wages. Postage is deficit $758.40, which is going to come from group health insurance. Um, police chief salary is deficit $85.26, which is going to come from police department wages. And his contract is May to May or something, so yeah, it's kind of funky. Um, and when we, when we did, did the calculations of what the change was, somehow we all messed it up. So, 
Um, then we have building inspector salary is short $235.98. What am I looking at here? Okay, so we just didn't give him 2% or something? I don't know. Yeah, somehow that got messed up. Uh, building and so it's going to come from building inspection expenses and building inspection alternate seven dollars seventy three dollars and thirty six cents. Council on Aging Directors a rounding of nine cents, um, which is going to come from Council on Aging Wages. Um, library wages one hundred forty one dollars and six cents, which will come from library expenses. Um, Town Hall building expenses, $17.99. <laughs> it's kind of a odd. Well, Town Hall custodial wage is $17.98. It will come from yeah. just a, like it's an invoice of $17.99. It's actually two, two invoices that I thought I had actually calculated. One was I somehow messed up by $10, and the other was the 12th payment for $7.99 for the cooler rental. Um, but on here, town hall building expenses is in a deficit of thirty-one hundred dollars and fifty-two cents, thirty-one fifty-two eighty-nine. But I believe you had another earlier transfer for town hall building. Yeah. Let's see. Either at five or six, I believe it was. Uh, four or five. I think it was. Might have been six. six. Town hall building ex. No, that's seven. That's well, yeah, thirty one forty nine. Yeah, okay. yeah. Double checking. I need a lot of double checking lately, so um, many eyes are good. So we're police overtime wages, seventeen hundred dollars come from police wages. Um, general insurance, one hundred fifty four dollars and seventy two cents is going to come from workman's comp. And town hall custodial wages. Um, if you want to wait for fire EMS building expenses is short two sixty three twenty four. Coming from group health insurance. <laughs> Let's hope people don't decide they want to add to the health insurance next year. <laughs> um, Ambulance billing is thirteen hundred sixty-two dollars and thirty-five cents. It's going to come from group health insurance. And ambulance EMS expenses fifty-nine dollars and ninety cents is going to come from group health insurance. I'll wait till Becky gets back. So what hours does the interim guy work? He. He's there tomorrow, I believe Thursday and Friday. Is that correct? Sounds about right. I think so. Yeah, he's working like 10 to 15 hours a week or something. Like that. Yeah, it averages between the 10 and the And is, does he do any inputting of stuff? or? He does. He does. Yeah. It's just without having somebody in there full time, it's just really hard to keep up with everything. So is it any, any progress since the, the funding was increased? And not that I know of. Not as far as our last meeting, no. Hopefully, I mean, it, it just went in. It was 4th of July weekend, 4th yeah. of July week. So hopefully we get somebody. It's yeah. Yeah, thank goodness for Dave Arnold. I know. And, all, and the rest of you too, but I know Dave's well, been in there a lot. Dave is, Dave is really done a lot. Especially trying to, he's captured a lot of growth, which is good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can say that, uh, was it yesterday? Please. Monday, Friday, we got the uh, personal property tax bill. Mm -hmm. so, for, for, for the office, for the office here in town. Ever since we moved 
down the street and go to stop. I told him go ahead and pay both players all of just just so that. I guess you can't force someone to fill out a form this no. Consent to them. I guess you go knocking on the door. <laughs> well, in, in South Hadley, the way they do it too is if you don't file with the town clerk to discontinue your business certificate and notify, you have to do that and notify the assessors. And then you're still billed a year after beca because it goes by January 1. Mm -hmm. But they'll just keep billing and then they add fees on. So somebody might not get a bill for three or four years because the value is not high enough, but then the fees apparently compound. And so then they send bills to a, a business that left six years ago but never did the. F which is just like, how the heck do you expect yeah. me to? How are you supposed to recoup that? Yeah. yeah. Or how, yeah. How do you collect it? Yeah. We've had a few businesses that have like let us that have left that we kind of straightened out. But yeah. There was yeah. a lot of businesses that weren't getting it at all. And right. And people, should have been. And should have been a lot of people that didn't even know what it was. So it's you know yeah. there was a lot of lost revenue there. Which, you know, for the people that were paying, you know, it's, it should be equally right, exactly. paid by everybody that needs to pay in. So. All right, so is there any, do you have any questions or anything? Um, we just did those last three. There was fire. Um, EMS building expenses was short, ambulance billing and ambulance EMS expenses. Um, the ambulance billing is based on the more runs they do, the more they get billed by the billing company. So he must have done a bunch more runs this year. Because yeah. normally it's like 75, eight, 7,500 to 8,000 bucks, and this year it seems like yeah, it's I think a we had more. Two different transfers for around um, 13 or 1,500. Yeah. Um, so you're already up to 8,500, and so you got another 15. Um, so it's like almost 10 grand, which is, I guess, good. Hopefully we can collect that revenue to support the ambulance itself. So I know at least in Westfield the, the runs went up dramatically since yeah. people yeah. 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 It's pretty big. Well I think you'll see an up you see an uptick partly because people weren't doing it for COVID and then people started to go to the emergency room and whatnot and then I think just in general people are using the services more. Mm. So I move that we approve Budget transfers for fiscal 22, number seven, and the amount of 21,293.37. I second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. So, Darcy, question for you. So, if you were to hire a full time person, do you think? Um, you would um, increase the the assistant or the staff person there because even if with just one person, it's hard to go out and capture everything. And you have that if you have to lock the office and go out for a couple hours and come back, it's kind of you know. Would you increase yeah. those hours potentially? Maybe so we've talked about a few different things yeah. so ideally, you know, increasing the the assistant mm -hmm. to pick up a lot of the data entry yeah. and all of that. And we're hoping with the near map that alleviates a lot of, I mean, you still have to go outside, yeah, yeah. but that alleviates a bunch of the running out. Yeah. And maybe some of that vendor cost can be recouped, um, and then we can make that into a sell, into the yeah. assessors, and kind of, we're trying to find ways to make the office more efficient. Yeah. And, you know, get correct data. Well, I suppose if they do have to go out, they can always time it when the other person is in the yeah. office. Or, I mean, even when I was here and there were two people, there were times when there and was just a close, sign yeah. on the door saying, yep. be back by 1130 or yeah, whatever. Right. So, I yeah. mean, it's not like there's a line at the door all no. the time. No. No. no, but that was, I think, Janine at that time had 25 hours and Lori was here 30 hours. So that was a lot of staffing in that office, which helped. It does. But if you have someone here full time, but then you have someone 10 or 12, and now you have only someone there a couple hours, it's hard to like capture all that information. It is hard, and especially like now, you know, there's a lot of people coming in, the bills just went out. Yeah. Different, you mm -hmm. know, we can kind of have it staffed yeah. at different times. Yeah. 
when you know you're going to be getting the activity. Hopefully we're getting it all organized. <laughs> I think you've been doing a very good job at it, Darcy. We'll get there. We'll get there. <laughs> yeah, have a good you too. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. So these are all signed for you guys. Uh, thank you. Um, Thanks, Vicki. Uh, just... uh, um, so I'm not going to do this. Probably shred them or whatnot. I guess I had some questions based on this 630 but now this new one things look different so now the elementary school is not in a deficit hmm. it's in a positive 204,000 bucks see you just, you just gotta wait for the next report <laughs> <laughs> but my guess is there needs to be an accrual for all the lump sum payments that are getting paid over the summer yeah, yeah. so those would have to be accrued in there um which I'm assuming they're not um but that Hampshire Regional Operating still is the same amount, which seems kind of bizarre to me. But, um, and the other thing, right, again, I have to go through this again, off the top of my head, is that there's no budget in here for any of the assessments that came off the cherry sheet. No one put the budget numbers in there, so you might want to do that. Yeah, we are just kind of catching up on actually some of the grants and stuff like a few weeks ago. Are the lines even in there? The lines are in there because they spent all the money. Oh. So there's there's charges when the cherry when the, 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 the journal entries have been done, it looks like. But it doesn't look like the but the well I shouldn't say it doesn't. There is no budget in there for like school choice, charter school, R and V and all that. because um, you really want to see if you're yeah, over, short over or yeah. short or not from the state. So um uh, anyway, that this is something that just kind of jumped out at me. I'm like, how come there's no budget in here? Anyway, <laughs> just looks odd when you have a whole category with the no budget in there at all. Um, so medical claims expenses. Anyway, again, I'm gonna have to look through this. Just I might have some. Just I was just curious out of you know some of the stuff in here that's not. Just looks odd to me. That's all. Um, the last thing um, is any other business. Does anyone have anything else? Do you guys have anything else? When is the select board meeting next week? Tomorrow night. Oh, tomorrow night. Meeting just basically for. Oh, to do those yeah, because they got to be done. Yeah. All right. Um, anything that can wait. The next wait regularly scheduled meeting? meeting is next Tuesday. Okay. Um, you know, I guess next year we could, if you're doing these, we, you know, we could have a joint and do them together if we chose. I kind of thought that went pretty well, so. You know, we did that a couple times, um, mm. but just, you know, that way you can have a discussion about it between them and us and we, you don't have to repeat the same things over and over again, you know what I mean? If that works. Um, obviously I don't want it to be at the end of a meeting at like 10 o'clock. It should be the first thing. So. <laughs> be done um, so we've been trying to meet on Mondays at like 7 because we can't get here before 7 I probably you probably can't get here before 7 either so and it's fine that's fine by you yeah I'm not working lucky me <laughs> <laughs> um, I wish it was. so it's kind of I guess maybe we might want to meet in August just to find out what the final numbers are. And I don't know. I, I, I kind of go, I don't set anything in stone because I don't know what my schedule is going to be from one day to the next. Um, but again, it's generally been Mondays at 7 o'clock. So whatever. Well, day let's wait and see if it's, if we have anything to definitely any, look at. Any, definitely yeah, look exactly. I just think, did you want to just, for any purpose, and just pick? On Monday in August, that's tentative. Yeah, tentative. yeah we so can do I that. Can, yeah, I can work. Yep. Yeah. If we don't have to have it, that's fine. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna find a calendar here. Let's see. I mean, it could whatever that 
The 15th or the 22nd? 15th um, works for me. Uh, I'll be back from vacation till the 15th. You okay? So we'll just, I'll do that later, but, um. So this is tentatively. Yeah, yeah. Again, if there's nothing that, there's, that needs our attention, then. And it would be at seven, I can. Yeah. Okay. All of a sudden, it's like, <laughs> got hot. It was cold when I came in. Mm -hmm. So, motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. At 8.40. Uh, second. Second. All in favor? Aye. <laughs> this government meeting is brought to you by Eastworks and our local cable subscribers.